Mr. Sampo. Anything bothering you, Miss Firefly? Don't worry. This isn't going to involve anything illegal. Who cares if everything's full of sugar? It's a dream. What a scam. Uh, it takes a long time to reach the other side on foot. How about we just bounce over there using the pinball machine? Pinball machine? He is not fully acclimated to the dreamscape yet. This could get dangerous. Dangerous? Miss Firefly, we're in a beautiful dreamland crafted by the family. How could it be dangerous? This is the perfect place to have some thrills. Come on, pal. Show her what you're made of. Bingo! Our destination is right there. Pepe Papeshi Salon. This is no ordinary salon. The only guests allowed to enter are the Papeshi people, or those with VIP cards. But then again, nothing is too difficult for Sempo. Here we are again, pal! Huh? Oh, it's you. You here to relax? Right! I have two friends here who want to come with me. Any seats left inside? Mm. How many of you? Three. Show me your VIP card. No problem. Here it is. I'm talking about your friends. I've already seen yours. Um, well, how can my friends have VIP cards when they've only just arrived? <laughs> can you make an exception and let them in? I'll provide my VIP card as guarantee that they won't cause any trouble. Okay? No, I can't break the rules. Please go home if you don't have the card. Well, seems like we can't go in. Just stay cool. Let me think of something. <gasps> Got it. Okay, so we aren't going in anymore. But could you help me pick up something I left inside? The moment of betrayal. The cloud of doubt and everlasting hatred. Just mention the clown's items to Miss Thunderbolt. She'll understand what I mean. <laughs> Just be patient. I'll explain everything when the time comes. Sure thing. I'll deliver your message to her. Please wait here. Here's the items you asked for. Uh, Miss Thunderbolt said these alone wouldn't be enough. She wanted you to have these broken dreams. She said do with them as you see fit. Miss Thunderbolt is such a thoughtful person. Thank you so much. Now, we're only short of one item, which we might be able to find in an arcade machine. Coincidentally, there's one at the salon entrance. Let's get moving! I want to show you something fun! Is that... a TV? Why was this TV dumped on the side of the road? Ha <laughs> ha! I'm afraid you're mistaken, Miss Firefly. This is an arcade! This fine machine has a sense of aesthetics worthy of the dreamscape! It's nothing like the techie junk you see around Punk Lord. 
Hey, how about you try touching it and see what happens? Well, I might be totally off base here, but I think there's something fishy with this TV. But it's fine if you want to give it a shot. I trust your judgment. Got swag now, pal. So, how did he turn into that? Oh, ho, ho, ho. you don't get it, do you? Well, she was sucked into the TV just now and swapped bodies with Hanu. Hold on, let me take a closer look. <gasps> look! The title of this game is Hanu's Adventure. According to the plot synopsis, you have been shrunken down by one of Stone's devices. You will embark on an epic adventure to rescue Dreamville with your miniature body. Now, if you want to return to your normal size, you have to do everything that Hanu has done in the cartoon series. Or, you can just touch this TV. Here it says, enter the door to start your adventure. You have to climb inside from there to start your challenge, pal. We'll cheer you on. <laughs> of course we will. Good luck. <laughs> I finally caught you, you little Hanu. Oh, look how small you've become. <laughs> no, I hate my mouth for revealing my secret. Again and taken the treasure I worked so hard to snatch away from other people. Fine, I'll admit it. You've rescued Dreamville once again. But you just wait. I'll be back! did great! This is the proverbial moment of freedom! You have earned it! Now that we've got everything we need, 
We just need to go into a dream. <gasps> just follow me. <laughs> You're about to experience the real fun. Welcome to Dreamscape Sales Store. Dr. Edward at your service. <gasps> Trailblazer of the Astral Express. <laughs> Here we are again. Uh -huh. I see you've brought two friends with you. Well, they seem like fun people. Hello, Edward. I'd like my friends to try something fun, if you know what I mean. I'll be my guest. <laughs> Dr. Edward welcomes anyone who's ready for some excitement. <laughs> How about we use your dreamscape, sir? A superb idea, sir. Let's do it. The one from last night would be perfect. Um, what's going on? Well, this is a service we offer to our long-time customers. You can submit dreams you've recently had to me. And with the relevant emotion prototypes, I'll be able to turn them into customized dream bubbles that can be experienced repeatedly. Well, whether a dream bubble is fun or not depends on what kind of dreams you've had. We all had dreams that we wished we could have continued after waking up, right? A dream I wished I could have continued after waking up. Miss Firefly, I admire your eagerness. But please be patient. Allow me to use my dream as a demonstration. I trust you have prepared all the necessary materials. Please, hand them over to me. Your donation is appreciated. The retrieval is complete. Now, I will calibrate the memoria and generate the dream bubble. It's ready! Please, close your eyes and rest your forehead against the dream bubble. Jump on in, friend. I wish you a pleasant time. Ugh, where's this? Is this the clinic in the Bellabog underworld? Why is it empty? This is part of my dreamscape. Bellabog is the setting for this dream. Oh, no need to be hasty now. You should take a moment to get used to the feeling of being in a dream within a dream. Is this another note? Oh, really? Well, you know what they say. Great minds dream alike. Stop nitpicking the details. If you ask me, I'd say you should take a look outside, but don't get frightened by what you say. Huh? Shatana is a 
ハバラディバラバトゥベラボゴテテテハバラパパパパ。せ、ハバラオヘザバタ。ホラバチャトゥバラカンダダバラダラダ。ハララハ。ウラバチャトゥベラワラダトバラテケンダ。アセイ、ア
库塔库基卡拉库，库卡基，卡拉库拉。ディダキリコカシノアサコキガトリララいやカリゴラガキガコリガラカラゴガキガイファイナリーコレクテッドプルーフスト Let's go back and deliver them. Oh, so how would you hide a little old bit? Unsay for his way. Yeah, could a bad high of that. Zapira aya, could a bit to the very red dar. A save do a yase vero. Is this where the final battle will take place? Not sure how I feel about this. Such a tragic scene. Didn't they say the Garbage King would wait for me here? Have I been set up? What a bummer! I was really looking forward to seeing how our friend was going to overthrow the Garbage King. What a huge pity! Such a meaningful dream came to an abrupt halt because of Miss Firefly. I was looking forward to seeing your face when the truth dawned on you. Hint at? No, more like reveal. Don't you want to find out the truth behind the dream? Don't let all that pretty scenery in the dream world distract you from your goal. As soon as you get complacent, you lose sight of the truth. Don't you think this dream bubble looks really similar to modern day Penacony? A small stage is crowded with a bunch of scheming people. None of them want to be exposed under the spotlight, so they all push you to the front. You're not at home anymore, kid. You've wandered into the depths of the unknown. Let me put it to you straight. Don't let yourself get enticed by that glowing light. I'm gonna be very disappointed if you get bamboozled by the likes of them. Is that girl still here? She claims to be a local, but doesn't know how this world works. All she's got is street smarts. Who exactly is she? You don't find her the least bit suspicious? You better hurry up and confront her if you have any questions. Don't let her off scot free. <laughs> See you around, pal. Don't let me down. What did Sampo mean? Is Firefly hiding something? I must find her and demand an explanation from her. She shouldn't be too far off. How 
about we bite the bullet and go for the new Thanks, the light. Whoa, nice! <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> yes. There are things... I'm hiding from you. I'm not a local. And there's a reason why the Bloodhound family is after me. I also have my own purpose for joining you on your journey. <laughs> but still, I appreciate your help. I mean it from the bottom of my heart. And, and my admiration for the Nameless is also genuine. You guys have been to a lot of worlds, met people from all walks of life, and experienced all sorts of things. Every day is a new beginning for you guys. <sighs> Can I bring you one more place? It isn't another tourist attraction. It's my very own secret base. And I'll do my best to tell you everything I know when we get there. Thanks. <laughs>